Lone Star State recently made history by conducting the first open air test of a high energy laser. The groundbreaking technology is designed to take down enemy drones in combat and civilian areas. News 3's Donnie Tuggle was on the Relis campus today where the research is taking place. Recent events in Ukraine and around the world have highlighted the evolving role of drones in modern warfare. Drones dropping explosives into tank catches, vehicles, um, you know, it's a, it's a really um, ubiquitous threat. Easily accessible online or at major retailers, these devices can transform into tools of destruction or surveillance. Companies like Raytheon are working to give service members every advantage for operational success. Raytheon's high energy lasers are combat ready weapons that use silent, invisible beams of light to destroy drone threats at great distances. We, we developed a, uh, a counter drone uh, technology uh, using a high energy laser and a exquisite uh, uh, pointing and tracking system. Laser tests were previously conducted in states with appropriate firing ranges. Raytheon's partnership with Texas A&M and the Bush Combat Development Center now brings testing capabilities to Texas. How powerful is that to be able to be in Texas and shoot a large laser, right? You know, it's almost like being a kid. You're seeing a laser go down. You didn't get to see it, but you're seeing this, them hit a trigger, and then all of a sudden things start burning down range. For those involved, the primary goal beyond the laser technology is to safeguard national security through collaboration. I think there's an opportunity here to integrate research that is already being done with what industry needs. Many times when you try to bring many organizations together to complete a common goal, you end up um, not getting the job done as as effectively and efficiently, efficiently as you would like. Ed Rellis, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. All that in our backyard. Amazing.